All right, well, g'day, everybody. Um, I'll try to be loud and uh, as we're getting set up here. But thanks to Eugene for having us, and I uh, feel like we're looking forward to sharing with you our product today. Uh, we launched in January. So Congo is a video marketing platform for branded video and user-generated content. I'm gonna talk about what both those are in a minute, but the best way to show you what we do, uh, to talk about what we do, is show you. So Mark is uh, co-founder and CTO. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna shoot a really quick video, and you're all gonna be a part of it. I look around and there's a ton of us from different countries, and so when I count to three, what I want you to do is just say hello, or hi, or good day, whatever your native language is, I just want you to yell it out in your nice, <coughs> passionate, proud voice, and say hi. You think you can do that? Yes, I, 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 Mark, you're in. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, take that video and he's going to add some metadata, just add a title and description and he's going to select the campaign to send it to and then our servers are going to go to work and in about a minute or two it's going to pump out the video and we're going to see what that video has done. It's going to return to us as branded video. Um, why branded video is important? Okay, in today's world, in, in our environment, you've got about three seconds to capture someone's attention uh, to decide if your content is uh, worthwhile watching or not. In that first three seconds, you need to give them something. If you are a brand or an advertiser or a company, you've got to capture their attention in that first three seconds. Um, in the past, however, I don't know if any of you have created video before, but creating brand new video is a nightmare, right? You have to take the video, shot on your phone, take it to a computer, Add your branded elements, which might be an intro video, might be an outro video, might be a watermark, and then you save the video and then re-upload that to your networks of choice, right? Super annoying. So we knew when we started this, we, we had to make the process as easy for a seven-year-old or easy for an 87-year-old. And so literally, we have both of those age groups on our platform today. Um, so that video is going up there. The second thing, while that's still loading, is I want to talk about user-generated content. User-generated content is content that normal, ordinary people create. Every single video uh, that's on the internet can be categorized in three ways. One is produced content, and that's what brands pay a lot of money to make. TV shows, advertising, it's content they own and create. Second bucket is anticipated content. This is content that brands know or expect that you might create based on their, so if a TV show comes out, The Walking Dead, they're going to anticipate that you, their fan, will create video based on that content. And the last bucket is spontaneous content, and that's whatever the heck people create. Those two last buckets, the anticipated and spontaneous, account for 75% of the video that's online. And right now, brands have no way to leverage that content and to use it. And so that's what we allow them to do uh, we allow brands to turn their fans basically into marketing assets and create branded video for them. Um, our video is almost done, but before we play it, uh, is it going to go? Is there audio? There's no audio. There's no audio because of the audio. Oh, it's a shame. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, play back from the beginning, Mark. So, you see this particular oh, campaign that went to was the Congo campaign. We attached our branding elements to the front. <laughs> Watermark there, and then you're saying lots of nice things. Hello, good day, everybody. And then the branded element at the end. So that in itself, branded video is now easy to make. Okay, the last thing that we do is our web platform uh, gives brands the tools to drive those UGC campaigns. Right. So everything from moderation controls, um, building out an ad platform where brands can then take that UGC and use it as advertising. So you can imagine a future where your fans of, of products become your marketing assets and create UGC. And we know UGC works. So uh, the statistics are interesting. 90% of consumers said that user-generated content influenced their purchasing <laughs> decisions. Um, you and I are more likely to buy something if a friend shoots a video and recommends a product than if we just see a typical ad. Right, so now brands have, have the tools to 
turn their fans into brand agents. So that's what we do. Thanks. Questions? Is that five minutes? Am I good? You're right on the money. Oh, good, good, good. It felt five minutes. <laughs>